Okay. So, so, so Martha, how are you doing? How do you feel after graduating um, the state university? I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Honestly, I'm so happy because um, it's not an easy journey. So I am very happy that I, I, I was able to get to this far. It's tough. It's tough. Um, so you said it's, it's not been an easy journey. Tell us a bit about the journey. How's, how's it going? You know, every journey always it, it start with a step. One step at a time. So me being here as an um as a young adult trying to pursue uh, my degree um all this and different background uh, different environment you know from Ghana to different world it's it's not easy because you need to adjust to everything even the studying the practice and competition food language barrier everything that is, is a lot it comes with a lot you have to mm. go through all this process. So it, it's been a long journey. It is a long journey. Yeah, wow. Uh, you should just tell me how it feels because your life changed all of a sudden after you won gold uh, in China. And here you are in the US. I mean, when you sit down in your quiet corner, how, 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 do you, how do you see it all? How are you managing that? Whole- I see like a blessing. It, it was a blessing because God always, God use everything that happened to us in this life, like for a reason. And he make everything that we pass through, whether it is a challenge, everything, it, it tells us something. Because um, after the Olympic gold medal, it's, it was a lot that went on, but I, I thought about it like as a preparation. God was preparing me for something great. So that's what I, I thought about. And I see like a challenge. And that challenge has really helped me to work so hard. Trust me, it has really helped me work so hard. I may not understand it after uh, first, but now I do understand it. Like those, all those things, it has really helped me uh, become who I am right now. So it's, when I say it's been a long journey, I know everybody that watching me or listening to me, to me, will understand how it feels like to go all the way, like 5,000 miles away from your country to, to, to get something done or to pursue education or just even a work, just to go to work. It's, 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 it's not an easy journey because you have to go by everything that is around you. You have to put some negative things aside. You have to focus on the, neg- on the positive side. So it, it's all about challenge and you have to balance both because some positive side, may help you and most of the time people think only the negative thought can help you it can but sometimes the negative things about you have to encourage you to work harder that's what that's what happened to me so all those bad things all those challenges all those negative thoughts all those everything that i went through right now has really encouraged me to be the person i am today without that i don't think i'll get to this far well, that's, that's brilliant. And it's good to, to know that you're doing so well. So now let's talk about your athlete life in the US. I know you've won a couple of awards. We have been following that very closely. How, how would you rate yourself? I will never rate myself as an average. I think even God will not be, God will not be happy for that. I would say excellent because it is, it, is, it is not easy for you to come here to adjust to everything. It must not seem good to pay how it is to get to every, every city to get to. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an easy achievement. My coach always tell me that you always have to take an action to actualize your vision because a vision without an action will becomes a nightmare. So I always make sure I go with that word. It's, 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 a, it's a big word that he said. And he said that to the extent that I never give up. I'm always somebody who keep working towards something that I want to achieve, whether it, is, whether it is hard. I see it like, even if it is hard, you have to keep pushing. So I keep pushing myself. I keep encouraging myself. I keep thinking, neg- I, I keep putting negative things aside of me and then focus on the negative part. And every, every scene I, ha- I need to improve, I have to improve everything that I'm doing and keep moving. 
sometimes it seems it to be far, but when you keep working towards it, get closer. So I'm, I'm blessed with my athletics career right now. I'm blessed with people around me. blessed with everything I've gone through and everything that has happened and what is about to happen. So I will never agree with myself good myself like an average athlete I would and I, I can't even say excellent let me say excellent because it has not been easy to to be three times all American and I think like um eight times all my champions and four times outstanding performer both indoor and outdoor and then cross country so it's, it's a great achievement and I'm proud of myself I don't wait for anybody to tell me that oh you are I really I'm really proud of myself so far Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the confidence. That's good. That's good. That's good to hear. Are we, are we going to, I mean, for most people, they saw you um, when you were very young, when you were able to win Olympic gold, the Youth Olympic Championship, you know, everybody was excited about it. A lot of Ghanaians want to see you do more. What do you have to say to these Ghanaians? I mean, who want to see you back competing for Ghana, back competing, want to see you at the, at the Worlds, Athletics Championships and all of that? What do you have to tell these Ghanaians? I know, I thank them for believing in me. It is not easy. People still believe in me and I like that because they see it. It's like my school motto, he say, we see the future in you. They, they see the future in me. They still don't doubt about that. And, and all I have to tell them is, the good is yet about to come. Everything is a process. Sometimes people forget that before Usain Bolt became Usain Bolt, he has to pass through a lot. You both have to go through a lot. Like he has to practice. You need to put on the work. Like it's not a one-day journey. For now, I'm done with my first degree. I have my second. I'll have my second degree on on marketing this coming spring. So I'm not going to put down my education right now, but I, I will put it down a little bit and focus on the track, fully on the track. So that's what I have to prove to my people and my fans that I'm still there. I'm still Matabisa. Matabisa that I used to know, he, she will still come back. It's, it's not like, I guess I have to wake up yesterday and come back and run faster. I have to prepare myself. It's, so it's, it's a journey. So they will see Matabisa again. I'm trying so hard. Like, let me see, I'm working hard. My practice and everything, my techniques, people that are around me, they are putting everything together. So when I see people around me, Mr. Hedaro George Lutro, Mr. Kwakuni Makon, who's no Asrewa. <laughs> My coaches. <laughs> so all these people I have, all these people around me, they, they are encouraging me. And I know they've been, they've been there for me all these years. I'll talk about them. I'll talk about them. Let me finish this point. So I thank them for believing in me and I know I'm going to come up. Now. I want to get more gold for Ghana in the African level, any African competition and also Olympics. I'm working so hard for it. And I, and I believe in myself. I really do believe that I can make it because the yeah. God that took me to China is the same God today. So I know he's going to take me far. Right. Is, are there any special things you want um, Ghana to do before we see you back, you know, with the, with the athletes? <laughs> you know what we got? We've got the Olympics next year. That's one. And uh, we have the world championships that's going to be taking place in your home in the U.S., the, the next world championships. Right. Um, what do you expect Ghana to do for you? so that we can have you back in our fold? Honestly, I don't, I don't really, um, oh Lord, um, for Ghana, I don't, I don't really need anything much from Ghana, but Ghana has to, you just have to appreciate the athlete they have, an athlete that they know they are capable of doing great things. They have to take care of the athlete. They have to make sure the athlete is good. Like he's in a perfect place. They know, they know the athlete's welfare or, or their well-being. I'm saying in general because they know they do nothing for me. And I'm not going to point that because it's not, most people don't, most people know the story, but as I told you that I'm not going to focus on the past right now because everything past will always remain past. I have to focus on the present and what is in front of me. Because I see myself being a great athlete. More than that, go use that Olympic gold medal as an example for people to know what, what it's going to do to me. So what I want Ghana to know that they need, they need to take care of their athlete. If they had an athlete, they don't have to be bragging about this athlete. They need to encourage the athletes. They don't have to look down on any athlete with any level. Like we have to, we have to appreciate what we have and try to make sure we make that thing stay forever. See, 
So we have to do that. So that's what I have to say to That's Ghanaians. what you have to say to Ghanaians. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. I, I was just asking you, because you see, when you guys um, went for the competition in 2014, I don't know if you met a few of the athletes who, as we speak, find themselves doing some high level things from 2014. I was just tracking a bit, you know, the, the youth athletes that you, those you met at the championships. Have you seen some of them going high? Have you been speaking to some of them? Are you still in touch with some of them yet? Or um. Honestly speaking, I don't have been in touch with anyone, but I watch them. I watch some of them, but most of them are sprinters. Yes. You know, Noah Lies, Noah Lies. Ah, yes, yes, Noah Lies. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Lyles, yes, yes. the one that Lyles. won the 200 meters in IEF meters. last year. Yes. Yeah, he was there. And then I saw, I, I saw the girl that, see, she was actually the second place in the 400 meters. The lady that won the IEF 400 meters. Yes, yes. She was, she was there. Mm. Mm. But when I'm watching them, I don't yes. feel sad. Okay. I don't feel sad when I watch them. I get so happy. Don't know why, and I get so excited because they do something when they went back home. Their country appreciate them. Their country make sure they give them what they need to win more gold for their country. Their country was not. They were not selfish. Yeah. Their country were not hypocrite. They try. They, they do everything possible within their power to make their athletes straight. And now they are producing for the country. That is that is a, that is something that we need. That is something like we always have to look after. Not not talking about this today, criticizing this person today. This person cannot run fast. This person is nothing. We need to we need to come together. We need to come together. And make sure we get people that always will keep producing for the nation because we don't have to think about ourselves. We have to think about the nation. Because when you get to the level, you raise your country flag high. And you see how it feels? Yeah. If you see the joy when, when you hear your country national, national anthem, bam, 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 bam. it's just something <laughs> like you feel like yeah. the joy, the excitement. But I don't think Ghana want that. They always criticizing. Talking about it, but actually just that we have to focus. We really have to focus. At the same time, these people, I always, I always watch them, and I feel so happy. And I know, you know what I tell them? I said I'm going to get there. It's You're a going time. to get there. You're going to beat them soon. Right? I'm going right. to be there. It is a time. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to be patient for God to make <sighs> His own time. God is never in hurry, but He's always on time. But well, I have to say, once again, congratulations um, with what you've done, what you've been able to Thank do at the university and also keeping on the tracks and doing very well. We'll be looking to uh, seeing you very soon. At least you will see me. In the, ne in the next world, uh, which yeah, is so we're very excited to see you. And um, yeah. hopefully we see you joining Ghana and defending the flag very, very soon on the tracks. I used to do the You will see me. I used to do the 800 meters. 1,500 meters? Yeah, I love to run 800. I love. That's yeah, I know, I know you That's love 800 meters. I was yeah. born to run. <laughs> yeah, I tell yeah. you this. I am born to run. And yeah. I always run for my country. But the thing is, we need to love what we have. We have to yeah. appreciate what we have. Yeah. yeah so I I really use this opportunity to thank people that have been there for me all these years. I thank mm. Mr. John Lutro. <laughs> this man, <laughs> we are done a lot. Sometimes people don't when you talk about somebody, people may not understand. They'll be like, oh, why are you talking about this person? God makes something happen for us to get closer to certain people that they are right for us. So God put them, God put them for me. Mr. Let me say Ambassador Lutron, Mr. Kwakuni Maku. My coach, the coach is in Ghana, Mr. Neil Lamte, I started with my coach. And I always appreciate him, no matter what. He's still my coach. And I appreciate um. Uh, Mr. Uh, Coach Logoshe Amuzu, they all did a great job for bringing me up. I thank everybody, and I thank my coach. What they all doing? They have done an amazing job. There is one thing they, they said that it makes me feel like if don't Ghana don't see it, people see it, and I really don't care about that. They say yeah. something. Congratulations, Martha! You did an excellent job in the classroom and on the track. The success we had as a team. Is directly attributed to the success you had as an individual. The best is just to come for you. You came to the United States as a young lady. Now you are a woman. 
with a college degree. Great job, Martha. And one thing they said, you have done a great job, Martha. The good thing is you are not finished yet. <laughs> the best is yet to come. Trust me, you are born a leader. Excellent. And people don't see, other people see that. Mm -hmm. So I thank them for all being there. I thank the folk state for giving you the opportunity for maybe to be part of your program. I love right. them. I love to be a Spartan. Right. And right. I always yeah, I can be see a Spartan. That. I can see <laughs> that. All right. So thank you very much, Martha, for your time. And then we'll be speaking very, very soon. All right. Take care of yourself. All right. Bye. Yeah.